Hello friends, in this video, I will talk about how one can reduce the risk of developing GBS that is Guillain-Barre syndrome and uh, and even if you develop symptoms of GBS, what should be done? So the first point is the most important prevention. So GBS is a neurological disease which occurs because of faulty immune response following an infection or vaccination. So the common infections that trigger that could trigger an attack of GBS are respiratory infections and gastrointestinal infections. So if you look at respiratory infection, the common symptoms can be say fever, runny nose, uh, headache, body pain, myalgias, and usually they are caused by influenza and other uh, flu viruses. So, uh, so the symptoms may not be very severe. Usually the person gets well in a few days. But in a small number of people, say 7 to 14 days after the infection, symptoms of GBS can develop. And the second group of infections are gastrointestinal inf infections. And as you can understand, these symptoms can be stomach pain, cramps, loose stools, uh, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite. And again, only say one out of say several hundred patients who get infected uh, can develop GBS because of faulty immune response where the person uh, tries to fight the infection but in some cases those antibodies attack the own nervous system so basically as you can understand one has to reduce the risk of getting respiratory infections as well as gastrointestinal infections so how can you reduce the risk of respiratory infection so they spread from mostly from say other uh, humans who are infected so if you know somebody who has uh, you know fever cough cold try to maintain distance if you are going to a public place, then it is better to wear a mask and, and always, you know, the usual uh, hand washing rituals, you know, that you all learned during COVID that has to be continued before you touch your eyes, nose, uh, mouth and because that is the, you know, route of entry of the respiratory uh, viruses. And, and of course, so these are things that can reduce and also there's annual flu vaccine, which you should talk to your doctor whether you should take and then you know under their guidance you can take it to reduce the risk of flu the second is uh, gut infections so mostly they spread through contaminated water and food in the recent outbreak of gbs cases in pune and surrounding areas uh, contaminated water has been found to be the main uh, infection uh, that caused campylobacter regina infection in most people and then uh, that triggered the attacks of gbs so so water contamination, if of course the water that one drinks should be clean, hygienic and free of bacteria. So if you are uh, using filtered water, that is fine. Otherwise, if you are not sure it is coming from say tanker or well, it is better to boil the water and drink. So that can take away the, you know, the water contamination part. The second is contaminated food. So any contaminated food can uh, be the source of infection. It is not that it is only non-veg food or you know certain specific types of food if the regarding non-veg food uh, if it is not properly cooked or uncooked that could harbor the bacteria and you can get the infection even the vegetarian foods like salad if you have in the restaurants or any outside sources where it has not been properly cleaned uh, or washed then uh, the, that also can be the source of infection so it is preferable not to have salads or you know uncooked vegetables from outside sources if you have at home that is good same thing applies to dairy also it is better it is safer not to uh, consume raw milk or and you know uh, which is milk that is not pasteurized because pasteurization of milk kills the bacteria so that is so that is the other ways you can uh, reduce the risk of not only campylobacter jejuni but other uh, food borne diseases also like common things like cholera and typhoid that risk also will reduce so by all these techniques or you know precautions you could reduce the risk of getting infection and so the risk of developing gbs also would reduce now by bad luck if you or if you know somebody who develops uh, symptoms of gbs the common symptoms can be tingling numbness weakness which usually starts in the legs and it can rapidly spread to involve trunk and the hands also so at the earliest you should consult a neurologist because there are effective treatments like ivig immunoglobulin injections and plasma exchange and if they are started early then uh, more than 95 percent people make uh, good recovery uh, with proper treatment i hope you found it useful please share your feedback and comments